So hi guys, this is Parth, and today I'm going to show you how to create a virtual machine on Google Cloud Platform. So uh, in this video, I'll guide you through the step-by-step -step process of creating a virtual machine on Google Cloud Platform, perfect for hosting applications, running tests, or building your own server environment. Um, so I'll just tell you what is a virtual machine. A virtual machine is basically a computer system which is hosted on a cloud platform like AWS, GCP, or Microsoft Azure. So let's get straight into it. So the first step to create a, a VM on GCP is to get login into your Google Cloud console using this link, cloud.google.com. Then head to the console in the navbar, and you will be redirected to the dashboard. So for the prerequisites of this uh, method is you should have a Google Cloud account and also billing should be enabled in your GCP. That are just two requisites for this project. So let's begin. So the first thing we have to do is go to the compute engine section in the dashboard. In the compute engine section, we have to enable this API. Basically what compute engine API does is it lets a uh, Google Cloud Platform create a virtual environment and virtual machines, which will be used for later hosting web apps or running tests, whichever use case you want. So let's just enable it. All right, so the Compute Engine API is enabled and I'm redirected to this page, which is the VM instances page. This page can be accessed from the side menu by going to compute engine and then going to VM instances, and you will be redirected to the same page. So basically, a uh, cloud environment is termed as an instance in the cloud, uh, in the cl Google Cloud. So basically, create instance means you have to create uh, basically uh, an instance of a computer or a cloud computer. So yeah, basically, instance is a virtual machine. So let's begin by creating the create instance button. And now we just have the basics we require to enter in the configuration. So let's just enter. This is a test VM. It's like the region which is the most closest to your country or the uh, place where you are handling the request. So I will choose Asia South 2, choose any zone. Now, uh, what we here have is uh, the types of computer you want to create. So basically, if you want to create a general purpose computer, we have these following options for creating the instance. C4, E2. This E2 computer is included in the free tier. So if you're using a free tier, you can opt for E2. You will have only the option for E2 instance. So let's just move on with E2 instance. If you want a more powerful computer, you can Choose any of the options, compute optimized, memory optimized, storage optimized, or some GPUs for if you are using some kind of machine learning projects or something else. So for this project, let's just use E2, which is also included in the free tier. All right, so after the machine configuration, in the sidebar, we have another option, which is OS in storage. So OS in storage, we can see that we are already currently using Debian GNU, which is a Linux image. This is a Linux distribution, basically. If you want to change that, you can click change, and then you can select the OS you want to choose. I currently have Bullseye, Bookworm, and Bookworm uh, for Debian with x86. Also, uh, if you want to choose another operating system, you can go for any operating system. You can use Ubuntu, you can use Ubuntu. If you want to use Debian, I'll just use Debian for uh, demonstration purposes. After that, we can go to networking. And if you're using a web app, then you you need to allow uh, HTTP and HTTPS traffic. These allowing by allowing these, the public will be uh, able to access your website and website server uh, on this cloud platform. So you need to allow HTTP and HTTPS for if you are serving a web app. All right. So now you can click on the create button, and your virtual machine shall start cre being creating. All right, so now you can see that the VM is being created and it is currently served on this IP address, 34.131.241.24. This is the external IP, which is basically 
on the IP which public will use to access your instance or basically send requests to your instances. An internal IP is referenced by 10.190.0.2, which is used by the systems which are inside your Google Cloud platform. So, all right, so to start actually working with the virtual machine and accessing it to the command line, we can go inside the virtual machine and then we can see the option for connecting it to the SSH server. Now, SSH, this SSH clicking on this SSH button will connect the system to the cloud on this browser itself, but you can also use third party SSH connections like VS Code or just Google Cloud CLI on your computer to also connect to this VM instance. So for this purpose, I, can, I will just click on SSH. And then it will start transferring SSH keys to the VM and start connecting to the virtual machine on the command line. All right, you just got to authorize it. And yeah, there it is. This is actually your virtual machine and this is actually the computer which is hosted on your Google Cloud Platform and you can use this to host your websites, web apps, running tests or any kind of apps you want. So yeah, you can just use your regular Linux command in this, like uname slash a opening and this will return the type of system you're running. So yeah. That's how you basically create a virtual machine in Google Cloud Platform and access it and get it such in your browser. Okay. So guys, thanks for watching.